sure that most of you know who I am, but for those of you who, you know, were maybe zoned out for the past couple of minutes, I don't blame you. My name's Ethan Moore, the original Ethan of the class of 2020. <laughs> Today, I would like to share with you what I learned about perseverance and never giving up while fighting chronic pain. Back in seventh grade, I began to feel pain and weakness in my wrists. I also would pass out for seemingly no reason. We decided to go see a doctor about this after Ms. Lau found me unconscious in the faculty parking lot. After some testing, I was diagnosed with postural orthostatic tachy tachycardia syndrome, or POTS for short. It's a condition that causes my circulatory system to have trouble circulating blood to the higher parts of my body. This can cause me to get lightheaded and possibly pass out when I stand up from a sitting or lying position. However, we didn't have an answer for the joint pain. My doctor and I brushed it off as growing pains and I continued on with my life. During my sophomore year, my condition began to worsen. The pain in my wrists began to increase and other joints in my body began to hurt and weaken. I had to drop out of tennis and band. At the beginning of my junior year, the pain in my knees was so bad that I needed to use a cane to walk. I saw multiple doctors, physical therapists, and occupational therapists throughout the course of the year, which caused me to miss school. The pain in my hands also made it difficult to write, which caused my grades to suffer. Eventually, my doctor, my doctor recommended me to go to Mayo Clinic in Minnesota. During the week of the 26th of August, 2019, the doctors performed a series of examinations and were able to give me multiple diagnoses. These diagnoses included amplified musculoskeletal pain syndrome, a condition where the pain receptors throughout my body become overreactive, causing the sensation of a light touch to be perceived as painful. Central sensitization, which is a condition that causes my body to be in a constant state of fight or flight. And autonomic dysfunction, a condition where the autonomic nervous system, responsible for regulating heartbeat, blood, pressure, digestion, etc., doesn't function correctly. The doctors at the clinic told us that the best way to treat these would be at the, their pain rehabilitation center. For 23 days in October, I attended this program and improved significantly. They taught me various methods on how to cope with chronic pain and how to retrain my brain to not be as sensitive to pain. I learned healthy diet, sleep, and exercise habits. Additionally, I learned techniques to control my heart rate and breathing to reduce stress and control pain. I follow a daily routine that incorporates all of these skills. This program changed my life, and I feel great. Now that my chronic pain is under control, I can focus on school and do the things I love. I'm active again. I got a major role in the musical, and my grades have improved. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm telling you all this. It's not because I want you to pity me. My journey through high school with chronic pain has taught me that I have the power to change my life. I'm telling you all this because I want to give you hope. I want you to know and understand that when things get rough, don't give up. You can make things better. You have the power to change your life. You might need help along the way, and that's okay. I also want you to know that you can take something negative and make it positive. That is what I learned from my experiences, and it's what I hope you can learn from them too. I know that your struggles may be different from mine, but the outcome can still be the same. And I'm not good at ending my speeches, so <laughs> obligatory, abrupt transition to, and now for my thank yous. <laughs> I'd like to thank all of my teachers for supporting me throughout high school, especially throughout my senior year. Thank you, Ms. Lau, for being there for me and helping me, even before you were my advisor. Thank you, Ms. C.T., for pushing me to do my best and teaching me valuable life lessons like, if you're not early, you're late. <laughs> to my friends, thank you for making my four years of high school filled with joy and laughter. Without you guys, I wouldn't be who I am today. To my older sibling, Tegan, thank you for being in the front lines of life for me and using your experiences to teach me valuable life lessons. And... Thank you for keeping an eye on me to make sure I didn't do something stupid. <laughs> I'm going to miss you when I go off to college. 
to my parents. Mom, Dad, you are the best parents I could have asked for. You two are the perfect dynamic duo when it comes to parenting. And it was because of you two that was that I was able to achieve the things I have achieved. I'm going to miss you both so much when I go off to college. Thank you. Hey! 